another day, another vintage store recording, and I just wanted to take a setting to just look at this manual. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? It's just some random screen. Looks gorgeous. But let's get into the uh, into the yep tabs and got going. A new day, a new vintage story recording. Yes, yes. All right. Look my phone. If I figured out what I want to do for an intro, so you should have seen that right now, but you know, I'm recording these quite a large amount of in advance, because I, when I find time to record them, I record them, because I do want to get a slightly semi-decent release schedule, and I don't know what my... The next few weeks I'm probably super busy with work, so... And also, currently working on game development as well, so time is limited, but we're back in the game. It's the next morning. And uh, I did change the settings that I told you about. Uh, tool, tool durability is uh, a little bit higher, as well as uh, uh, work speed is. I think I stood work speed at three times the amount. Tool durability at um, uh, twice the amount. That's what I set it at. It just makes things a little bit more. You know, like, okay, we're just gonna have a bit of fun. Uh, yeah. You might think it's... Oh, look at that! Look at that sunrise! <laughs> My god, that looks so good! Just that peak underneath the cloud. With the god rays. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I wish I knew what hotkey I would use to ID, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> oh, man. the clouds move in. Oh, I wanted to show you this. I talked about this last time. I think if I go a little bit closer. Oh, maybe a little bit further. I oh, shoot that there, there we go. <laughs> I love this feature. He just puts his legsies over the edge. Look at him. The gorgeous lad. Um but yeah. Uh tool speed's a little bit higher, tool durability is a little bit higher. It's just to make things just that little bit more easy. Uh reason I was catching oh, catching was grabbing some grass was because uh, talked about rooms and everything a little bit. I wanna uh continue digging this out and placing the walls and floors in it. Uh as I mentioned. Um so that but the doors that we can make will not provide enough um, of a, uh, you know, of a barrier to make uh, make everything work correctly. So we have a lot of bits of work left to do. Uh, and let me grab some of this. I should have loafed to the soil right there. Um, but yeah, I have a solution for that. Oh, and I'm kind of digging myself in here a little bit, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. That's what I mean with uh, why I like the ground to be used like this. It just makes things a slight bit more difficult. Um, which I think it's just a very kind of like you know you can't just dig a hole into the ground without you know having the repercussions of trying to dig a fucking hole into the ground. Um, so yeah, I spent a little bit of time, a little bit of work trying to get this all to work. So yeah, all right, let me grab like two more stacks, and, uh, two more crafts of that should be enough to keep me going for a little bit. Um, because we probably want to reinforce this up a little bit further. Um, you see low for the soil to kind of fill up the holes and then we use the packed dirt to kind of prevent any like further collapses of happening because that will be a little bit annoying to constantly having to 
uh, dig around like the collapsed stuff. There we go, and I'm going to get some high for two soil up the top here, which should stay or not. At least just stay. Right, alright, there we go. And I probably should have done this in a slightly more convenient order than I'm doing this. But, you know, I am uh, I'm known for uh, not doing the smartest thing at, at, at times. Uh, right, okay, so we reached the stone layer already here. I could make it like one deeper so it would stick at the stone layer, but I think it's fine. I don't think I need this to be a really high vault ceiling or anything along those lines. So I'm just gonna make this uh, nice, easy and cheap. We'll, we'll fix this later to be something a little bit more uh, pleasing to look at. But basically, we've got ourselves our little cellar going. And that's what we wanted to make. Now, why was I uh, getting some grass? Well, um, for crying out loud, I should not have done that. Um, uh, I uh, There's a very cheap uh, door that I can make that is um, airtight. But it's not as convenient as an actual door. <laughs> Oh, come on, game! I need to make another shovel. I also need to stop hurting myself constantly. Also, I don't really don't want to eat too much of what I'm carrying with me. Also, I think I can just hang this on the wall here. I kind of like these things. They, yeah, they look pretty cool. And I don't know if they grow now, but they might. So let's make another shovel. I've got granite stone with me. And let's see, shovel head. I think a little bit darker also makes it a little bit easier to see like the orange outline. Um, I would not love to see this maybe like in a bright green, but I might be able to change the colors, but I can't remember exactly. Uh, it's fine. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Let's dig this back out. Alright, cool. And there we go. Right. We were gathering grass. Now let me show you why to make ooh, two of these. He's one of the quickest breaking blocks that are in the game. And if I would do this, it gets really dark, but you can see to the top left, it has like a little icon. Uh, I can, yeah, right there. Shows you it's a cellar. Uh, I can't see shit right now though, but you can, as you can see, remove these super fast. So that gives you a cellar. And consider we don't need to often go in and out of a cellar. It doesn't really matter if you block it off like that. Other than that, hey, my crock pot and my bowl are ready. That means we can go to the, a better tier of food. So, let's put the crock pot. Uh, I think I just put it into the fire. Uh, oh. God, this is the point where I completely forgot how this works. Um, fuck. <laughs> uh, cooking. There's a, probably a cooking guide. Oh, this is not the right pot. I'm an idiot. This is a crock pot. This is made for... This is a different thing. Right, I need to make a cooking pot. I am an actual moron. If you've been screaming at me, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to make a cooking pot. There you go, raw cooking pot. Oh, I'm also removing too much ships. Ah, crap. Tip black. Um, okay. Why are we not adding stuff back in? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Weird. I was being a little bit weird about it. Right, alright, um... Duplicate the layer. And... Ugh. Why is it not? There we go, because oh, I need to aim at the damn thing, otherwise it doesn't recognize that I'm in this crafting menu. There we go, that's the one that I needed to make, because I'm a moron and I do not realize that I... I'm a bit fumbling with everything, apparently. Well, let's fire this one up then. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Because, um... 
Yeah, crockpots are used for um, making jams, if I remember correctly. And we don't want to make jams, we want to make regular food. Pack dirt, loaf of dirt, I don't really want the loaf of dirt, I can probably use that uh, to fill up a bit of a hole if I want to. Um, Yeah, it doesn't always uh, bumble down, but sometimes it does. All right, uh, the medium fertility soil we can add to the farm, so I'll keep that on me. Uh, let's grab some peat. Four pieces of peat. One, two, three, four. I think maybe it's four. Might be eight. No, it's four. And uh, burn it down. Now, if I would have not had the uh, thing above this, it would actually kill the fire. Um, right, let's just quickly go towards the farm, and we might try hunting a little bit or something, let's see. We'll harvest, I thought I saw something over there. I'm getting paranoid, man, for the wolves and stuff. Ah, yeah, some of the uh, harvesting is done. Now probably, yeah, like I said already, I messed that one up. Um... Uh, it's fine, we'll at some point get a uh, bucket, but that's that's also in the um, stage of um, um, uh, planks, so that's after we basically have sufficient copper to start making basic tools. Now, for stone tools, I don't really mind the durability thing, but it's mostly for metal tools, where it just, I find it just a really annoying uh, system where you spend so much time getting something, and then within minutes it basically breaks. And I don't really find that enjoyable, so... Like, there's a limit to how much time I'm willing to spend on certain things, he says, while he's fully aware that, that he plays War Thunder. Yeah, I know. Carnal sin almost. Um, yeah, let's harvest these turnips. And we'll replant the seeds. So those aren't done yet, those aren't done yet, those aren't done yet. So these cabbages are going well. These are going nicely. They're done. Alright, it's so got five turnip seeds. Um, turnips are N. All of this has is good on that way. These are not good on N. This one is not good. This one is. Now at some point I'll probably make a little bit more of an organized order out of this entire damn thing. But for now, this will do. Um, no real reason to make a big hurry out of everything. Ah, we'll plant a couple more trees. Let's make start. I don't know. I always like the idea of a tree, like a lane type of deal. So. Let's uh, let's continue this lane. I wonder if she's got like three three spots in between. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, what well, I can't remember the order that I did. So one, two, three, and I did it at the fourth. One, two, three, did it fourth. One, two, three. Did four, one, two, three, and did it at the fourth. There you go. So we got a nice, nice little spacing. So get, you know, eventually with some paths and all that kind of stuff, and kind of make this slowly grow into like more of a hamlet. And uh, yeah, other than that, I kind of need to wait on the pit kilns. Um, but yeah, like I said, we could probably do some hunting. Uh, I still some some rice seeds, so let's drop those off. I want to get rid of that rot, so apparently I got some berries that probably perished. Um, or not. I probably want to gather the reeds and make a couple more of these baskets. Um, this is all coming together nicely. Seven days, we have a lot of fruit. Now, I don't have... I've never made jams. Uh, but you can make them. And they have... Oh shit, I'm out of food. Where did I... Okay, there's the turnips. 
Yeah, it will slowly starve. And considering that we don't have a uh, temporal gear yet to place ourselves back at this position, I will be forced to eat raw turnips. Now I, can, I might be able to cook them, but I don't, oh, we've got some more coming up. Yes. All right, let me uh, remove these from here because I can't really see what the farm's doing with them in there. So just break them really quick. But yeah, it's just like we are in the pottery stage. Now we'll be, we'll be making some more later. For now, this is fine. I kind of wanted to take things at times, and I tend to make a plan uh, of what I want to do, and I don't really plan much more outside of that. So right now, I want to do uh, cooking, get that done, and some basics for farming, storage, like getting the basic amenities going that we need to basically have a good time surviving so we got some more rye so we can remove that one Rye right there right there and I'll plant the turnip seeds right there and uh, so you see where the N is restoring a little bit of a compared to here like this is 29 that is like a 31 so it will restore over time so it's not really like a big it's not a really complicated system, it's just very simple. There's a couple more seeds that we want to find, but that's the thing. I first want to get my cooking. Oh, I don't need to har- I just need to harvest these, don't have to... Um, completely harvest them. Until we maybe want to grow the farm, but considering... The space that we still have in that direction, I am not overly worried about space. Um... Because I don't have the seeds anyway. But yeah, we will be doing an exploration run eventually. Uh, once, Because uh, I still want flax uh, for linen. Um, and linen is really useful. Now there is another source of linen, which is the... Uh, the um, I want to call them the lost, but that's not what they're called. Um, the crawlers that we, we saw in the other episode. Um, they have their own little thing. Uh, you can actually cook these if you're really desperate, by the way. I think I told, uh, said that before already, but... Uh, uh, yeah, if you're truly uh, running out of uh, food, they are a... Oh, they are a decent addition to your diet, really. Uh, besides hunting, which is a quick to sort of solution, I think you can hunt stuff to extinction. Rain, man. Rain calms me down. Like, and the advantage in having it in this game is that I don't really get any wet. So, ah, we've got our first storage pot. So let me show you the storage thing that I was talking about because that's pretty cool. Right. So, and let go. And let's put a torch in my offhand. Right. So, in here, if we have things like it says fresh for twenty-one days. This has a perishable rate of 0.2 times for vegetables. So if I would put half of my vegetables in here, it will last me 104 days. A year is um, nine times 12 days, or uh, 12 times nine days. The math is correct, just the num numbers is wrong. Um, but yeah, food storage, We've, we're done. Um, that vessel will hold enough food for quite a while. Let's put this back out because I don't really want to hold it. Um, but yeah, so basically with a basement, uh, and we will be want to increase the amount of food that we have in there as much as we can. Is it a three? Oh, I'm one short, I'm think. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let me uh, put another one. Oh, you can actually put these on the walls. So they, enough spots to have room. Uh, most of this I want to sort of keep on me. Uh, the clay, I don't until I need to make more vessels. The stones are useful. This is my food bowl. I want to keep that on me. Flint. It's going to make new tone. New, eh, you know what? I kind of keep these granite stones in there. You can actually use these granite stones like this, I believe, to make fencing, which is slightly more fancier fencing, but we don't really need it. So, 
Uh, we're gonna keep it around because there is some use for it. Uh, I don't know specifically if there's sort of granite stone any use other than. Okay. Pulverizing to crush granite. Powdered granite, which would get porcelain. This might be a mod thing. Brick layers, yeah. Uh, right. So we need to wait for that to get more food. In the meantime, I might want to try maybe to hunt a little rabbit. Oh, look at that. Our tree is already starting to grow. Uh, so let's grab a couple more spears. Uh, and eventually I want to make a bow and arrow. Now you're gonna probably going to be hilarious. I've never used a bow in this game before because I never really had the need to go hunting because I'm more of a farming type of guy. I'm also one of those people that enjoys playing like farming simulator and stuff because I find it relaxing. I find it relaxing to play a game where I am slowly progressing but I don't feel like super grindy. Uh, a lot of survival crafting games I find unnecessarily grindy. Um, and this, for some reason, I always feel like I'm doing something that has purpose instead of... Because I'm playing Grounded, for example, now with a couple of friends. I'm really enjoying the game, by the way. Just just let me just put that up front, right? Um, I'm genuinely enjoying the game. Uh, but one of the things that I do have to admit is that it's, it's a bit grindy, right? Uh, and I'm not really that fond of... Uh, oh, I've run out of specific type of bug parts again so I can no longer repair my uh, my gear. I don't know if this will kill the bunny. I don't know how much health a bunny has so maybe I should just start with the flint spears. Get a little closer. Aim slightly above. There we go. Got it. Nice. Grab the spear, and I think if I... There we go. Grab the rabbit. There we go. It's fresh for three days, so I got a little bit of wiggle room. What is that? Is it a horse or is it a bear? It's a bear, we did. Uh, I genuinely don't know what that is. <laughs> Should I be approaching it then? Probably not. Oh, it's a log. It's a single piece of aged log. Oh god, that's funny. Well, welcome to my paranoia. Uh, let's make an axe hat. Uh, da, 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 da. Axe, there we go. Yeah, and eventually we're moving into copper, but it might be a little bit um, before we'll go coppering. Now you can really rush some of this, but I am more the type of guy that just wants to enjoy the entire process. So, yeah. This is definitely not going to be a speed run. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, yeah, definitely. I want to grab these berries. So, this is a little bit of exploring. We'll probably try to tame a horse uh, at some point. There were some around here, but I think they might have moved on. Uh, but we'll probably at some point try to tame a horse, which is one of the mods I've got installed um, to get some more animals. I think horse riding will eventually probably be in the game, but remember, this is, I think, a one-man death project. Uh, and I always have, like, uh, tons of respect for anybody who does solo development. I am trying to develop a game myself right now, and it's just... There's so many things that you need to know, there's so many uh, things you need to keep an eye on, and difficulties. It's, it's not as easy as some people make it... Uh, see. On the other hand, I've seen some very amazing solo dev projects, so sometimes I'm super surprised with how... I'm not gonna chuck a spear at that, because it's a waste of my spear. Um, how bad, like, some games are. Like, we have have 50,000 developers working at this game, and you're like, but yeah, it's shit. And this this game is made by one guy, and it's amazing, and it's... And then they're like, oh yeah, but that one guy worked on it for seven years. Do you really think that a lot of AAA games that are made these days are just are not developed in, in in like yeah the actual development cycle might be short, but don't underestimate the amount of pre-production that goes in these large-scale games. For example, the new um, uh, Assassin's Creed, a lot of people are angry about that. I can sort of I sort of understand why. Um, it's the first Assassin's Creed game where the main protagonist is not a native to the setting. And it feels very token esque, but yeah, you know, I, I, I haven't, I didn't like Valhalla. I didn't like, um, 
I think that's a wolf. I saw it somewhere, like a black wolf. Um, I didn't like Valhalla. I didn't like... I like the concept of Origins as a game, but I couldn't really be bothered with the setting. I don't really enjoy spending the majority of my time in the desert. So, you know, that kind of ruins the experience fairly fast. I utterly loved uh, uh, Odyssey. It's just a single piece. Hmm. I really enjoyed Odyssey. Um, and uh, I played that during a, a time where I was suffering from severe insomnia. So the entire idea of just conquering the map and you know, doing all the side content before even starting the main story was just perfect for me. Um, so that was pretty... Oh, that's Flint. I'm going to pick that up. Flint's better than stone tools, so you kind of want to pick it up if you come across it. Um, so yeah, but Valhalla, I, 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 like the, I like the idea of the Viking setting, but it just didn't... The, the game itself just didn't work out for me. Uh, so I never really played more than a couple of hours in the end. Uh, just trying to find a quick path up so I don't really spend like a large amount of time trying to get to the other side. Uh, but yeah, so. And I was kind of interested when um, they were talking about maybe doing an Assassin's Creed in Japan, but... The entire Yasuke thing is just, I don't know, like, okay, yeah, no, we're, uh, it's just an insult, I think, to Japanese people as well, to be honest. Uh, Artisan Trader. Well, man, it's gonna have to trade, so I can buy some tapestry, but he sells clay, fire clay. Oh, we could get, if we sell a stack of fire clay, we could get, actually get some gears from this guy. Uh, gets me one gear when he demands one stack, he also buys peat. Black clay, uh, we could buy, oh, we could see, buys fat, rough emeralds, so we could buy storage vessels. Nothing truly interesting. Also, I really love the auction house system. So, yeah, you can play this in multiplayer, like pretty significant servers and specialize yourself. Anyway, we still want to mark this guy. I already have him marked, I guess. Oh, wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, I think I already have him marked, because I'm right here. Yep, yeah, Arts and Trader. Okay. Um, a little more exploring so we can get some hunting done. Um, like I said, I still want to find flax. Uh, wow, the fly fire clay he needs is right there, but I don't really need the, the gears right now. I don't really need to them. Uh, it is also getting late, so we might want to return soon. Uh, fire clay, you can make, by the way, all the regular clay stuff from it, but you can also make clay bricks from it, which can be used for making a blueberry. Uh, which is a very useful tool for making iron and it's melting large quantities of other metals. But I think it's if I remember correctly, you can do other metals in it, but it's predominantly used for iron basically. At that stage, you kind of want to work on iron as well. Then you get iron blooms that you need to refine. Is that a just a is that a, like a tower or is that just a Weird outcropping. It looks like a tower. I probably have already explored it, but might as well look it up. Yeah, I don't know where the horses went, but we tamed one and then we drowned it, and since then there are no more horses. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually drowned, but it uh, definitely was stuck in the river. Yeah, rivers are a bit of a danger. Now, there might be something around here that I want to dig up. Can't see it. Maybe down there. So I think I saw a rabbit. I'm also glad I have a head. Uh, when the initial first person mode came out, um, you didn't have a head. When you have your body turned on, but we now do have a head, which is a little bit weird. Oh, there were rabbits. Oh, shit. So let's see if we can... Uh, can't see it right now. I think it's right there. Somewhere right there. I saw some brown thingy moving. Every time I need to drop down. Can't really do this easy sneak and drop down. I can't even jump. Mm. 
I've no idea where it went. It's somewhere over there, but I can't find it. Let me just... Oh, there's a fox there. Gives you a different type of meat, bush meat. Doesn't give as much nutrition as uh, a regular, uh, like, predator meat. It's less good as uh, prey meat. Oh, look at that. This game is so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, da, da, da. There's some more ruins over there. We'll check that out. And then we'll uh, take a sprint home. Hopefully. We don't think our cooking pot will be done by today, but we'll be done tomorrow so we can make a basic stew. Uh, there's more, some more berry bushes around here. Nice. So, yeah, there's always, there is always food to be found, just not during winter. <laughs> the, the, if you can survive your first winter, you'll, you're fine. Uh, that is the biggest challenge that you have. Oh, uh, there's a portal there. I don't think I want to explore them there now. Especially not with night kicking in. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll take a sprint home. Oh, shit. There are pups! Very cute. That's a apple tree. Wolf isn't chasing. I might be able to cut this down and hopefully plant the tree. Uh, you get like these uh, little things off them, like the stems, and you, you'll be able to plant them. But not all of them actually will take. So that's why I prefer not to cut them down. But considering there's a mother wolf there with cubs, I don't want to kill them. They're not. I want to. You know, leaves much of the f everything alive, but yeah. So we have uh, apple tree cuttings, can be planted or grafted. Uh, so let's uh, try planting a little bit of an apple orchard, and uh, yeah. So we'll do the same thing. Let's say we'll take a path one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four white. And then we'll do, let's see, yeah, so it'll be right there then. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Now these might not take, like I said, it's 40% chance that they survive. Um, so, now yeah, will we... Uh, Keeping an eye on that. Yeah, that thing is still going. Oh, no, pretty good so far. Uh, we're probably going to get it tomorrow. We're going to spore more of that direction. Um, and see if I can get a horse. Uh, we have enough material to at least keep a horse uh, with us. Now, that, because of that, I do want to bring these with me. So these only last for four days. These last for 20 days. So we'll just, for now, we're eating mostly the berries because, you know, we want to keep that stuff alive. Ah, right. Uh, rabbit. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, hook the thing. Uh, grab the knife, skin the creature. I'm wondering if I actually get any hides from it, though. Drops 80% from the creature's skin. Okay, cool. I don't know what that even means, but it needs to be hanging for another two hours, okay. Um, there's a couple of tools that I don't really need with me right now, so we're going to place that right there. I want to keep the shovel because it's just useful. Uh, and I think I'm going to just chuck the granite spear out into the river because... Um, it does less damage, so it, for that I, won't find, I don't find it reliable. Uh, and as you can see, it automatically just switches to the next one, so... So yeah, in about 8 to 7 days, we have a boatload of berries. I don't know when these will... 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 yeah. They might go well, they might not go well. But yeah, let's uh, now make... yeah, I'm starting on Apple Grove. We've got a bit of a farm going. Like, we're doing pretty well, all things considered, even though I skipped like a flipping month. Uh, yeah, let's just sleep through some of the nights. Hopefully we can do some cooking by tomorrow. Uh, make a bit of a, a pot of uh, of stuff, and 
yeah, when that is done, we can bring the pot along, right? To um, well, that's bad. Look at that sunrise, though. It does rain a lot over here. Let's uh, stay in the house. So that's what I wanted to see. There we go. Now, if I'm wrong correctly, I can make pretty nice hefty turn of stew. There we go. Now I just need to fire it up. Uh, let's start with one piece of peat. I don't know if that will be enough, but... Uh, ignite that. Come on. Ah, it's burning. That just doesn't really show that well. Um, right, so we can put that back in here. Now you can see the parish rate. This has still has a parish rate of like 0.69. Because it's in a chest, so... Uh, right now, this will still last like 29 days. Like the berries right now, it says four days. When I put it in here, it's just like five days because it's slower. Now you can make juice out of it, but I don't really know how that works, so I don't really give shit. Uh, empty hand. Grab it. Put it on the table. And, uh, put your creature. There we go. I looked at his survival craft mod, by the way, there's a lot of stuff in there, but it doesn't have like, like fishing the way I want it to be in there, so it kind of was like, ah, yeah, we're gonna leave that for now. So this is now... Needs to stay at the right temperature, right? And it will make a lot of servings, so it says six servings of hefty turnip soup. It will give us a lot of vegetables that we uh, will go through, and I think... I want to get one more peat on there, and that should be enough. Um... There we go. Burn duration like 25 seconds. Yeah, so we, we're at 600 degrees right now. So we're more than fine. Because I want to chuck the meat on there as well. Uh, luckily, you can grab these with, with your bare hands. Um, hot iron and steel and metals, you cannot grab it with your hands. And you need a, a special tool to do that, which is not that. It's, it's, it's a very basic tool. It's like, I think it's just two sticks or something like that. It's, it's, it's literally a tool. A uh, very small tool to uh, to do that. Uh, I might need some more cooking temperature is dropping fast. Let's right, so grab that, put that in there. Uh, actually, the fire just went out. Um, but this might be enough. So fire would burns for about the same time. Like as it burns for a little bit lower temperature. As long as it has enough heat. Like the fire could be out, but as long as it has enough heat, you're we'll fine. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Right, so, uh, pot. We have some turnip stew. Now, you can't eat directly out of the pot. That's why we made a bowl. Now we have a bowl of turnip stew. And we ate a portion of hefty turnip stew. We will ate some cooked uh, red meat. Some extra. And now we should have... A little bit more HP because we have some fruits, some vegetable, and a little bit of protein. Grab another bit of vegetable stew. There we go. And we didn't even eat the entire stew. So this is why I like bringing one of these pots along. Because you can use it to eat on the way. And it has like six servings. So we still have like five and a half servings going. So that's great. And we can go out and explore. And see what we can do over there. Because apparently it can't be really be over there. So yeah, that's that's basically the basics of the pottery age. It's your storage vessels that you can use. You can also use them as instead of chests, but I find them as as they are now. I mostly use them for uh, for preservatives, uh, that kind of stuff. And I would also have done have a tendency to harvest like large quantities of materials other than food, because I'm uh, working with the philosophy of like if I need something, I can tend to be able to get it, right? Unless it's metal, metal we will go ham, but anything else like sticks, woods, logs. If I would have a system where I could like have like logs on a log pile instead of you know even doing it in a chest as blocks, I might have you know might have harvested more logs because that's the aesthetic reason. But I could place them back down, but I need to harvest them back up, which was just a bit of tedium. Like imagine I have, like an entire pile of these babies just laying about. 
That would be pretty cool. And I wish that was a, was a thing, but apparently it doesn't. There's still a thing there, though, so... Hmm. Kind of want to be on my toesies. But I do want to see if we can grab some stuff here. Uh, for instance, I want to... I want to dig this stuff up, bony soil, uh, for a process called panning. Oh, we just found the model load. Crack fast as forage. Ores. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Stick. I want to get grabbed. Uh, that might be the first we drop, though. Uh, rye grain. Nice. Okay. Anyway, uh, like I said, I want to dig the bony soil because there is some, might be some interesting stuff in this when we start panning it. Panning is one of the easier ways to get to your early ores. If you can't find any surface copper, you can pan for it. Uh, I dislike doing it because it takes a fuck ton of time. <laughs> um, and yeah, it just takes a very large amount of time to get, but you know, there is... There is always a way. Basically, the game will never get you to a point where it's like, yeah, you just got unlucky and you can't find any copper ore. Oh, no, now you can't progress to the next stage. No, it's just like, okay, but you need to find a different method. And one of them is to uh, sift through bony soil or later on, or you can just look for any form of granite. Uh, uh, not granite. Um, gravel. Sorry, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, that will do the same as well. Uh, you can pan through gravel and it might have orbits in there, arrowheads. Because um, remember, we are living in a world with a fallen civilization. Now what I could do here, maybe, is grab some... I cannot do that because I don't have a pickaxe. <laughs> so used to picking uh, stuff up from these ruins to uh, use for decorating. But that doesn't really work when you, you know, don't have... Uh, we need to watch out if we don't get, you know, knocked up, knocked up, knocked over by one of the denizens. Ah, we found one of those uh, larger mass grave storage things. There'll be a lot of bones in here. But also a lot of bony soil. That's stuff we like. Now we found some tools in here. A shovel and a knife. Now you can uh, actually, f I have had this luck before where I would find a copper pickaxe uh, it's like super early in one of these uh, po tool pots. Which is incredibly lucky uh, and I think it's also fairly, fairly rare. But as you can see right now, like I can chuck away the shovel and then grab the new one and we'll be okay. Um, let's see, I need to get out of here somehow. I still have my pack dirt on me, so... I don't need that knife. Um, well, you know what, I could just chuck my old knife and grab the one that's completely repaired. Yeah, this is a slight bit more difficult than in Minecraft to nerd pull. And I'm bad at it. Uh, food. Uh, this will both is rye grain, so we could stack that up. Okay, I'll grab this. Uh, that might have been more right. No, that's spelt. I love spelt uh, bread. It's delicious. Oh, is the portal gone? Nice. Okay, cool. That allows me to explore a little more. Yeah, so you can see Rick, Rift activity is now gone to calm. It basically means the portal is gone. Oh, and there's this thing right there. Now, these uh, ruins can be really big. With lots of things to explore. Alright, this will go down to a well. I've done I've been down one of these. There's nothing in there. At least I've never found anything in there. And I haven't really seen anything else uh, that's which chest otherwise. Uh but yeah, these ruins can be incredibly large. Uh like this one, like a bit more sprawling former city. And you can start digging around uh a little bit more if you want to find stuff. Um occasionally there's like under grass or under stuff there might be like uh like one of those grave things that we just, you know, found. I don't really always feel like digging large amounts around. I really should check what uh, flint shovel, what I, vessels, because some of these vessels you could just leave, because if you don't find them interesting, what are you? You're a chicken! Oh, that's good to know! So there are chickens around here. Okay, I'm gonna just mark that real fast with... I don't know... Uh, I don't know what that means. Ladder, okay. 
pots, crack vessel. Uh, bees? No, 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 no. Ruins, rocks, chickens, rip. We'll just do a white, you know, but we'll make a, like a yellow dot. Chickens. Uh, for now, I don't have uh, the, really the tools to get chickens. But it's good to know that they're here. Uh, they might be gone next time around, but at least I don't have a general direction where to look if we want to get chickens. Uh, domesticating animals, is, it's definitely a thing. Uh, it's something I barely dabbled with. Had a couple of uh, 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 sheep in my my uh, my first world, and I was trying to find chickens there. The downside is, okay, so if you, in Minecraft you kind of get a lure, right? Or you just, you know, you kind of just lash the chicken and you or find an egg and you just chuck it at a wall. It doesn't really... Uh, oh, wait, this is a dead hare. Partially eaten, so I don't think there's a lot of... Oh, it's a fox, okay. A lot of stuff that I can get out of it. Um, I, I've been looking at a mod that allows you to sort of do that, but I, I'm always on the fence. I'm like, yeah, it kind of gives you like this Pokeball style system to uh, to to harvest animals um, or, or grab them, basically, and then you can place them back. What you need to do is basically lure them with feed into a place and... For the first many generations of animals that you have, they will just not like you because they're not domesticated animals. They are wild animals that you just put into a fence and they'll barely... Oh, shit fuckers. They barely accept your presence. Why did I go to the forest? Right, I wanted to explore find a horse. Fish! Fuck off. Still following me? Sort of. Brown, you bastard. Uh, doesn't really work. Well, killing a wolf. Um, like, it has 15 HP, right? So, throwing, I don't think it does more damage than the two, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. Anyway. Um, and the meat that comes from it is not that great. Now, don't worry. I see brown trees. As winter is not setting in yet. <laughs> it's, it's still, it's the 4th of June. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, if you need gravel, gravel. How's that? Conch. Huh. Do we have any uses? Grant into lime. Oh, yeah, right. That might become a problem. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Though. Uh, that might be... Uh, limestone! Limestone is... Uh, what the hell are you doing, Mr. Raccoon, I think, is it? Oh, it's a raccoon pup. I'm not even gonna bother killing it then. Let, let it be. Uh, stones, yeah. So, stones have different different values, as I explained to it before. Um, and certain stone types are used for multiple processes, and one of them is limestone, where it's also used as a thing that we need to make for make either quick lime or uh, for tanning process. So actually finding a source of limestone is not a bad idea, uh, though if it all looks like a hand aside to me from here. Horse! Uh, but yeah, it's so one of the primary things I kind of set out for was getting horns. Butterfly, easily distracted. Uh, right, so horse, chickens, uh, feed it. So I don't know how the taming process works. Creature weighs low. Size is small, taming process is... So do I tech, Do I really need an empty hand? Because that's going to be annoying. I will drop that. Don't really need that. Uh, empty hand. Mounted. Yeah, we got ourselves a horse. Glorious horse exploration can be achieved. So now we can actually, you know, get some distance going. And without the need to... Uh, what is this? Chalk. 
That is a good sign, because chalk. Uh, let's see. Chalk. I think chalk can also be used for chalk sand. Plaster. So we quick lime. I think by breaking. Including for the Oh, it's a thing if I would. Use. Yeah, plasters. Okay. Uh, I thought I had a purpose, but I might not have. Um, but yeah, well, you know, we'll keep going. This is a different stone type than the andesite, so we might be lucky. There's a lot of horses here. But I like this one for now. Uh, it's the first one we saw, and I'll, I'll put it up to like luck or something. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, that is rye, so it might actually be useful. Taming process 15%. Huh. What do I need to uh, stay? 20. Shit. I want to quickly figure out what uh, type of trader this is. Furniture. Okay, cool. For my horns, runs off. So, Mark, that guy, trader, um, Furniture trader safe. Now we want to watch out with rivers because apparently the horses and rivers don't mix that well. Tended to the draft style and current process is 15%. I don't really know how this exactly works. I guess this is an outflowing river. Um, I want to check the uh, grain that we're finding here because I can't remember for the light. Oh, so there, yeah, there it is. It's flax. So we need to remove that. Like I said, I want flax seeds because I need actual flax. Um, I'll leave the seeds. You know what? Here, uh, bud. Uh, oh, I want to. I want to feed it to you. Wait, why am I? I want to. Fuck! I'll eat it. Um, I want to wrap the actual rope as well. So there might be some more flax around. Um, I have another shovel that I really don't need. There we go. And uh, bit, bit, bit. okay, empty hand. It makes sort of makes sense, but it's a little bit annoying. Uh, let me quickly check the uh, is it flax as well. Okay, that's rye. I don't care for that. Um. And there's a mod, there's a lot of mods, but basically there's mods for everything that will allow you to make seeds out of just finding, like, uh, like the, the, the good. Um, that is a donkey, I think. Uh, so my plan right now is to sort of circle around the lake and move backwards. Um, so let's just do that. Horses do apparently swim, sort of. Oh, you're kind of kidding me, they don't swim? Well, that's a little bit annoying. Why can I not ride the horse in the water? Oh, come on. This is just a little aggravating. <laughs> Finally found a horse. The game is like, hey, you know what? No. Ah, and I'm getting pushed away from it. Ah! So yeah, horses and water, they don't mix. And this thing... Oh, sh... Horse! I don't want the donkey. It's going back to the other end. Well... I, uh... Hmm. So if I have 20%, it will follow me. But I don't really know how to... Like I said, I don't know how to tame the horses. This is, this is a mod that I have never really played before with, so... Uh... Yeah, mount the pet. So, hold on. Horse. Horse. Taming horses! Right clicking a wild horse. Each feed will increase the taming process. Now you can name your new horse. Feeding your horse after taming it will complete like these obedience. So when you give it a command, it's more inclined to listen. Okay. Horses can eat through throughs and breeds like other domestic animals. Okay. So if I feed it more, it will listen better to me. So... If I would feed it. Oh, now it's 
Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I do shift follow. That's not obedient enough. Stay is for 20. Okay, so it can stay. So if, can I just not keep chucking food in you? No. Okay. Right. So the issue is I need to find a place where I can cross this river. Um, and I don't think there's anything really. No. I went to circle around. That's pretty far though. This is also not really an option, so we're like, oh, okay. Because this is doable, I think, and I could probably make a jump here, and then oh, I still have a problem over there. Hmm. But it won't follow me, so that's the problem. Because otherwise, I could just jump the the river. So let's go for the first uh, run around and see what we can uh, can find. So I would need to go all the way like over there. Or maybe if we run the horse, we'll get tired, and you know we can feed it more often. And maybe eventually, we'll, you know, we're gonna follow, and we won't have the issue of the horns that wants to follow me. Was so it about said naming the horse? But so far, I've never really seen how I'm supposed to name the horse. Because I know I have a name for the horse, and uh, I think it's important that it has a name. And I was thinking about this yesterday uh, after the recording. Like, oh yeah, I like. I, I felt like I knew, like, oh yes, I know what I want to name this horse. Or Hans, whatever you want to call it. I hope you're gonna actually get around! Oh shit. No. I didn't see the hole in the floor. Okay, let me just see if I can cause a little bit of a collapse. Not too much. Oh shit, fuck! The horse did not like that. Neither did I, luckily enough. But a horse might be able to get like two blocks high. I actually have no idea. And and if it, it, no, okay, so it doesn't. All right, cool. Uh, we're gonna need to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a dig here. Okay, so this would allow me to get in maybe into there. I might need to leave this horse behind because I don't even know if I can get myself out of here, and it's getting late. Come on, come on, why are you not a Skyrim horse? I might need to use my... Okay, hold on, if I chuck the soil, I might be able to get some low quality soil and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a deal, but I can get some... Um... Yeah, there we go. Some of that. Where did the horse? Wait, what? What the hell is that bouncing? Oh, plants. Oh, the horse is over there. Well, at least you won't go anywhere. But I need to figure out a way to get that horse back to the top. And I think packed dirt is the way that we're gonna do that. So this is gonna involve a little bit of work. Because this isn't, isn't, it's not just the horse that we need to get to the top. It's also me. Um, so we're probably just gonna make like a large stair out of packed dirt. Because that's like the, literally the only one of the only few materials I can get down here that doesn't, you know, collapse. Should have paid attention. I'm being punished for my own idiocracy. I don't need these. I can probably plant them to prevent me from picking them up. Uh, okay, or not. Because um, I can't pick them up anymore. Right, so there we go, there we go. So we can get up to here. Da -da 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 to there. And I probably I'm going to need to do a whole lot of... More, so we'll go here, 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 here. Okay, we can get out. Cool. We should be able to get out. So I need to drop the low fertility soil. Alright, let me mount you. Okay, alright, cool. Uh, I might need to actually. Oh, no, that should be fine, right? We go over here. Over here, over here, and then on top. Yeah, yeah. Trying to maneuver it. Don't want that. 
Okay. Come on! Why are you so fat? I don't think I can get into one square spaces or something. Like it's really struggling to get into certain spots. Alright, what if I start digging up? Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so it's like a too wide creature, I guess. Alright, there we go. Fuck me. So maybe if I ride in third person, I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. So I'm gonna just chuck that. Right, so... I still need to go around the entire damn thing. Oh... Fuck. Um, I don't think it's possible. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a river cutting straight through there. Well, first things first, let me just get off the horse and try to feed it some more. It's 30%. Well, if I need to feed it twice more, then we should be fine. 37 and a half. Okay, so I think it's possible if we could just ride back and then we'll uh, just have it follow us through the water. Because that's the only way I can think of that it will. Oh, no, 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 don't go in the water, dumbass. So I'm kind of worried about nightfall. I might go the other way. We did, did we cross water? Well, so this should be entirely possible. Let's just try to go that way back instead of just making the loop around. We make a little pen for it, uh, and uh, we'll make a little. Uh, there's a couple of things that we can make that it will feed, so we can just feed it grass. Uh, cut, we have to cut grass every once in a while then uh, just to feed it, but it doesn't need any food that we can eat. So right now I'm feeding it rye, but that is not. Or I don't know if you know what the fuck this is. Yeah, rye. Um, but we don't actually need specifically rye to feed to the horse um, or grains. It will eat grass. And I don't think colic is uh, is something that's in this game, so I should have gone the other way around. Shit biscuits. Hold on. Are you uh, are you ready to be uh, to behave? No, it still has food in its mouth. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, we'll have to pick a quick ride. These horses. This thing is probably a very shit of a horse, but uh, apparently there's a lot of horse stats that you can get into, like speed, size. Attack, power, health, all that kind of crap. Um, so, yeah. Imagine Minecraft horses, but with a little bit more depth, I think. Minecraft horses are pretty, uh, pretty large amount of depth, considering the rest of Minecraft is fairly shallow. Even with the new Deep in Dungeons update. Also, that stuff you see over there. Um, hold on, let me get my... That is... F um, uh, you can show it to me, Thul, that you can make to use, um, use it to make the roofs and stuff we made out of uh, that. So I've got a tool. You can use it to make um, thatch, which you can also make for roofing. It has a slightly more efficient, I believe, version for... Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't mind. Talk out of my ass, apparently. Oh, yeah, no, because you just require Thule instead of using, um... Like, dried grass blocks. Why are you getting hurt now? Empty. So, give it a third person, I can actually then see when it's no longer... Oh, shit, why is it running? Get your ass over here. Ah, I suppose because it's hurt. Ah, brother. Holds, get over here. Scaredy horns. 45%. So now I can... Okay. Steve. It's 27 health. Goddamn, Steve. You're a sturdy guy. So stop complaining about every single thing. Alright, let me uh, get up this hill. It's mostly like 
the climbing that's really funky. I think if the uh, probably it's because it's based on like existing creature AI, there is no writing in the base game, right? It is all mod. And I wouldn't be surprised that if uh, this eventually makes it to the base game, which I think it will, uh, it will be a lot better. Oh dear. I've seen those that often. Um, but yeah, so you can also hunt deer if you want to. Can't see shit while going through a forest as usual. Let me just go first person because I really can't see anything otherwise. I still need to get it over the uh, water. Uh, the big river that's next to our base. That, that one. But I have an idea. Thought we jumped. Heart sank. <laughs> right. Um. I believe it was a log. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um. Let me get off the horns. Uh, there we go. Control. I really don't need the cattail. I'm also kind of starving. So let me quickly grab. Oh. A portion of food. Now, I, this is not the more I, the ideal food, really. Um, you can get much better uh, if you start mixing uh, different types of foods together. You get a much better result. Can you please not stand on the thing I'm trying to harvest? Thank you, oh, Steve. Right, all right, Steve. Let's go. Um, we might need another. Really, deer? Huh. I might need another log. Bit. I might actually cut down a tree. Uh, because I think Steve really didn't seem to be like walking on one white things, and I don't really find it very <laughs> pleasurable to have Steve and. Uh, yeah, so come on, pets. Oh, that's the wrong one. Control, shift, stay. Pets not obedient enough. Need to be 20%. What? Current progress is 52. Okay. I don't get it, but sure. Uh, oh, we've got a large seed. Let's just plant that. It's technically we might be in a forest here. Well, let's plant that large seed as well then. Hello, there, Steve. Hmm. Here we are. All right, cool. Um, control. There we go. I hope I have enough. Oh, crying out loud. Ah, that's not... <laughs> Minecraft instinct took over. I, I pressed shift. Yeah, I might not have enough log. I didn't burn the baby some more. Um... Especially now that I found out it still is not really willing to follow me at all. Right, okay, so I'm gonna need a little bit more log. Having this bridge also is rather useful. Now, oh, I have some more. Hold on. For crying out loud, did it again! Oh, also, apparently I. Oh, get out of the water. Oh, my torches went out because I'm an idiot. I pull, accidentally pulled it out while in the water. Oh god, I am I'm a moron. Okay, well. This is all oh, this maple. It's like, what kind of log am I carrying here? Well, that's the maple we harvested in the last episode, I believe. Right, Steve! Get your fucking arse over here, you little prick. Her progress 60%. Might be that its obedience level is not bound to its tame level, but it's something slightly different. 
Whoa, 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 calm the hell down, buddy. I just want you to walk. Let's toggle, okay. Right, well, let's get some fencing going. I have some fencing, so let's grab that. Stanley got my torch wet. Ugh, I need to fire start a fire again. Right, uh, I can't remember how you make a fence. Well, it's something like that with sticks and uh, probably need logs that I don't have, right? So fence. Oh, I make I make stone fence. That's right. That's with planks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can make another eight, but I have a better idea. We had the stones that I was talking about before to make fencing. There we go. Right, got ten more fence pieces. That's not a whole lot. So it's probably gonna be a big kind of a, like a mix and match between different fence types. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe it is. Right, still log, log, stick, stick, axe, eight more fences. There we go. That looks horrendous. So let's just make that look a little bit better. Oh, and these take four. Yeah, I can't really. That's why I also didn't want to make these. Right. Hello there, Steve. How does it feel to be a Hans? Sixty-seven percent. Alright, cool. Um, kind of want to equal, even that out. So what I'm gonna do is one, two, three, four. Oh, I only have three pieces. Whoops. One, two, three. No, 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 no. And there you go. Okay, you're still in. Alright, cool. <laughs> Little bug, I wanted to get away. And I think I need to grab two, but it might try to escape, so let's just quickly, you know. Are you attracted to me? Oh, it's following the... So now you know how to lure animals. It's with that way. With food. I think if I remove one more, it's equaled up. At least it looks half decent then, right? Because I can remove the fencing easily enough. Alright, so now for feet, you can make a throff, trough, trough. So we notice I'm not a. Um, uh, God damn it. Set in here a. Uh, Troughs. Yeah, look, English language is not a consistent one, and I don't really... I can make a small trough, which needs planks. Shit. Large trough, which needs more planks. Well, we don't have that. So, we'll be feeding the Hans for now. Or Steve, as we named him. Welcome, Steve. Welcome. Well, considering it's dark... And I don't really like the dark. I'm gonna make quickly a couple of torches. Because we really can use them. Right, and we'll grab the fire starter. Yeah, you can't see shit. Tough titties. I can't see shit either. <laughs> Nobody can see anything because I let my torch go out because I pulled it out underwater. Uh, come on. There we go. Alright, not as bad. Could have been worse. Right. Left the door open. Steve, I'll blame you. This thing forward. Steve will get all the blame. Um. Yes. Okay. Flax. Well, let's plant that. Uh, let's do that tomorrow, that's not in a hurry. I don't really need flax in anytime soon, anyway. 
Uh, let's see. Yes, we got that. We got that. We got that. We got that. Grain is already storageable for like a fairly long, like, like a decent amount of time anyway. So that's pretty good. Uh, now you can't cook everything, uh, but you can cook a lot. Okay, so did I didn't cook. Okay, I cooked all my. Uh, you can put this on the wall, by the way, but it'll go out after a certain amount of time. And I'd rather just not spend the time replacing them constantly. I get lanterns eventually, anyway. Right, actually, that was a pretty good expedition. I think I'll leave it for now. Let's put an hour and 50 minutes again. So, yeah, we, uh, we spent about an hour in each day. Maybe two, and uh, it seems to be, uh, like, pretty, pretty good going. So, with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you up for the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye!